Greetings, hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a quick review of the new Mets record titled Atlas Vending. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the video. This is the newest album from Canadian noise punk outfit Mets. I personally don't have that much history or any previous interest in the band because of how their albums have slipped my radar in the past. That being said, from the singles I have heard from those previous album cycles, it was pretty clear to me that they have a traditional noise rock sound with a lot of like stringent guitars, pounding drums, and very raw vocals. And on Atlas Vending, they go harder. The sound sound palette is complemented by a brutal industrial tinge on nearly every track on this album. The noisiness factor as well has been amped up to 11 with a lot of mind scrambling tracks that overload your brain with sounds. I had to take breaks listening to this just to relieve my mind of how much it was processing at one time. The opener pulse has these stabbing guitars and hellish groove on the back end of the track. Blind Youth Industrial Park has these ear rattling drums carrying it through as the track gets more and more frenetic. The mirror has these screeching riffs that halt and hurl whenever they're played. The progression into the melancholy last minute feels natural and the payoff is pretty satisfying to hear as well especially as the bleeding heart vocals display this eerie sense of destruction following the mirror is a quick minute and a half cut and no ceiling the vocal cadences the scraggly and rebellious guitars remind me a lot of what like idols would sound like if they transitioned into noise punk really across the album the band is able to instill feelings of fraught and also display this eerie dystopian setting as well not sci-fi but like more modernly futuristic you see these ideas get fleshed out on tracks like hail taxi which is a four minute rager with a raucous energy and on other tracks as well like sugar pill parasite and the tightly knitted send off about to drown in which is a seven minute track that clouds itself in this feeling of bitter defeat. There were a couple of tracks that didn't do it for me however as I thought they were just a bit too far from the reservation. The song draws in I think just suffers from a lack of meaningful progression. The pulley guitars lose their luster and the flow of the track is so fractured that jumping from instrumental bits to refrains and build ups just becomes disorienting for all the wrong reasons. And Framed by the Comet's Tale just suffers from having too much downtime between the explosive beginning and end portions. It feels like the 5 minute runtime of the track is just bloated due to a lack of cohesive ideas. And while I'm on this note, most of the vocals on the album fail to stand out in any meaningful way aside from a sparse couple of moments here and there on the track list due to how similar a lot of the implementation of vocals are on this album. Most of the vocals just follow this very basic pattern. Maybe it was because of how harsh and noisy the sound is that it overtakes the vocals, but for an album that is as sonically disruptive and as gnashing as this, it lacked that grimacing bite and growl to it that could have helped put it over the top. But overall, I I really enjoyed it. There is a lot to like about this record, and I am intrigued to hear what the band attempt to do next. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down below, and I will see you in the next video. I'd give it a...